Hey everybody, Frank from 5AM Ramen here and I have a special treat for all of you today. We are sampling Japanese premium instant ramen from the top ranked ramen restaurants in all of Japan. This includes a premium instant ramen from Ida Shoten. They do a super refined shoyu ramen and almost all the websites here rank them at the very top of Japan. We're also going to be trying a premium instant ramen from Tomita. To some, this is Japan's top ramen restaurant. Outside of those two, we got three more delicious ones I can't wait to dive into, five in total. Let's do this. Before we officially get started, if you want to enjoy the same delicious five premium instant ramen from Japan, place an order through Instant Ramen Japan, instantramen.jp. Make sure to use the coupon code that you see on screen so we know to send you the ramen from today's video. Full details in the description below. All right, let's get back to it. And as I often do in these videos, I'm gonna give my younger brother in the Philippines a call right now. We're gonna be enjoying two of these together on camera. Good morning, bro. Good morning, bro. Hi from Baguio. Hi from Tokyo. We've got another big instant ramen day today. I'm eating five, sharing two with you on camera, and the two that we've selected are super special. We're starting with the one on your right, Ida Shoten. This is actually one of Japan's top ranked ramen shops. Technically, it's most highly ranked. Wow, so the whole country, and but you told me that you haven't been there yet. I haven't been there yet, I'm so ashamed. Get this, like literally yesterday, I was online trying to make a reservation for there. So they have a system where every week for a certain period of time, and in this case, literally five minutes, like that's when you can reserve. It's so popular though, that like you have to keep trying to reserve. So they have a small, small window and that's the only time that you can make a reservation. At least we have the premium instant ramen version, which is gold, how fitting, right? I think so. Let's prepare this one starting strong. Ichi. Here we go, you ready bro? Let's go! Oh, oh yeah. That is a unique flavor. That is, that is some heartwarming, comfort, soothing chicken's broth soup. Oh my gosh. I think what they're trying to replicate is that really whole chicken flavor and also chicken oil flavor. It's syrupy, a little bit sweet and tangy from the soy sauce, but the way it's like presented is still so gentle, right? It's almost like there's classical music playing in the background when you're sipping and then you stop sipping and the music stops, you know, it's like. It's chicken soup for the soul. Wasn't that a book? With Japanese refinement. Yes, exactly. Yes, we have to dig in, bro. Sorry, I can't wait, man. Let's do it. I cannot either. Look at those noodles. So relatively thin, a little bit flat, but definitely matching, I think, that delicate, gentle uh, look that they're going for. True. Mm. Honestly, this is something special. Wow. That is good, man. I feel the noodles, they soak up the soup quite well. The noodles do a good job of taking in all the flavor. Even though they soak them up, it's not overpowering because the soup is so full of flavor, but it's so, again, gentle and like refined, right? Yeah, no, that's the angle with this, this ramen restaurant for sure. So for toppings, pretty minimalist. We've got spring onions here, white and green for a little bit of crunch. We've got the two sheets of seaweed there and also have the uh, chashu pork. Let's take one of those seaweed and wrap them around the noodles together. Game. Here we go. All right. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. You like seaweed, you like seaweed right? I love seaweed, dude. Here, let's get that pork. Mmm. That's a hearty pork piece. You usually don't get that in instant ramen. No. Bowls, especially when it's dehydrated pork. You don't get that much pork flavor or as thick a piece of meat. As you said, there's a lot of pork flavor there. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that. Mm. That was no, that was good. That was dang good. Oh dang, man, a lot of flavor. Oh, we are off to a great start. Let's move on around two now. Sounds good. Final bite. This is amazing. So 
For reference, this is Nakiryu. They were the second ramen restaurant in Tokyo to get a Michelin star. Their go-to is a tantanmen, a spicy style of ramen with soup. This one though is a special limited time tantanmen without soup. They don't sell this in their ramen restaurant. It's only in premium instant ramen form. All right, can we dig in? Let's dig in. Let's go. That's good, man. That's special. These are all special. You only choose the best, Frank. Oh, and it's not that spicy. It's got a slight spicy kick. There's that like buttery richness that's there that you often get with soupless ramen. Wonderful texture from the noodles because they're not cooking in that soup. Mm. You're absolutely right on the buttery richness. With the spicy kick, just well balanced, man. It is. Again, well balanced, just like the other one. The problem is you can keep going and keep eating more and more and more. Toppings, we've got minced pork, spring onions, and also what are chili peppers. And it's ready to enter my tummy. There is a little bit of like acidity there. I don't know if that's like the tomatoes, right? Oh, it's so good, dude. Mm. Usually not a fan of soupless ramen because I like, I like stews, I like soups that I can fill up my tummy with, but this is exceptional. You'd expect nothing less from a Michelin star ramen restaurant. Absolutely. I gotta work out after this to get rid of all my puffiness and sodium. <laughs> but you don't have an intense workout, do you? Cause it seems like we would always time it where you had like a seven hour intense workout immediately after. Bad luck in the past with the spicy noodle challenges. And then I go straight to the gym to go spar with top pros here in Baguio. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that never ended well. But today oh is a nice, a nice leisurely uh, treadmill jog. So thank God for that. All right, bro. As always, thanks for joining. I love it, man. Yes, till the next time. Till the next time. Enjoy your workout and I will chat with you later. Thanks, bro. Enjoy the right, thing. Take Much care. Love. Bye bye. Right. Okay, I'm on my own now for round three. And round three is gonna feature Shinpuku Saikan's official instant ramen. I've never seen this before. Shinpuku Saikan is probably Kyoto's most historical, most famous ramen shop. I'm a big fan of their actual ramen. Super excited to try their official instant ramen, which again, I don't think has ever been on the shelves. Alrighty, round three here. Historical ramen, starting with the soup. Ooh. Now the first one was seasoned with soy sauce, the ramen from Ida Shoten. That was a relatively light soy sauce seasoning. This on the other hand is more in your face. So Kyoto shoyu ramen or soy sauce ramen really utilizes a stronger, more bolder soy sauce compared to what you have in Tokyo style bowls. And that is very much apparent here. It's crazy. It's also a richer soup compared to Tokyo. I'm getting Kyoto vibes all over this. And also comparing the two classic styles, Kyoto uses thicker noodles. That's what we get here. Oh, that is excellent. In that part of the country too, Kyoto included, let's say West Japan, you do get sweeter tasting soy sauce, sweeter ramen. This is sweeter than what you get in Tokyo. That sweetness is compounded with all that green negi or spring onions. Nice frisbee sized chashu pork here too. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's just as good as Ida Shoten's, the first bowl, or maybe even better. I don't know. In a way, it all kind of blends together at one point. And this again is like the first bowl shoyu ramen, but it couldn't be more different. This makes me want to go to Kyoto. I think most people think of Kyoto, including in Japan, for very delicate, almost like dainty food, you know, beautifully presented. But when it comes to ramen, Kyoto ramen is actually on the heavier side. And back to the negi for a second. You see negi everywhere in Kyoto, so it's no wonder that the ramen is gonna have a lot of green negi. Okay, round four, as I start to fill up here. We have got another legendary ramen restaurant that we're showcasing their official instant ramen, Chuka Soba Tomita. This is a ramen that they've specially made just as an instant ramen. I expect greatness from Tomita. Let's see what this limited time instant ramen is all about from them. 
Okay, Tomita time. Holy moly, this is thick. Very different from the ones we've had up to now. This is definitely gonna clog my sink. I'm sure it's worth it though. Let's have some of that really thick, oh my goodness, soup. Wow, oh man, that is pork greasy. And they really pulled out all the stops for this one. Just the way you're supposed to prepare the packets in careful order really wanting to like highlight pork bones. And it is rich, but it's got that signature careful fine tuning that Tomita of course is known for. But make no mistake, it is as porky as could be. This is one of the porkiest ramen I've ever had, not just instant ramen too. I feel like I'm gonna start oinking very soon. Thin? but not super thin noodles, which is a big contrast from his super thick skemen noodles. This is a great tonkotsu ramen. Unlike pure tonkotsu ramen though, there's a stronger soy sauce base here. It has to be, that's what Tomita's gonna do. And that's why it gives you that brown color. And they recommend this third packet here, it's sansho or numbing pepper oil. And they said you can add it as you like, as you're eating. So I'm gonna put some in and let's see what that does. Okay, it is glistening. The numbing pepper really gives it this bright flavor. It's like a beacon of light piercing through that rich, thick soup. And it works well. Hats off to Tomita and the team. And of course, pork all the way. You got a pork soup, got to have pork chashu as a topping. Quality pork. All the toppings have been great today. Hard to say which one of the sliced was the best. Maybe at this stage, one and three. Okay, final round, thick noodles here too. Gonna ask the ramen gods for a little help. Actually, I'm good. I don't think I need the gods in this uh, particular situation, although I am getting fairly full. This one is miso ramen coming from Saimi up in Hokkaido. Might just be Japan's most famous miso ramen restaurant. It's one of my favorite miso ramen bowls in Japan, maybe even my favorite. We started strong, we're ending strong with Siamese official instant ramen. Mm. That miso flavor can only be described as beautiful. You know, the miso's there, but you do get this pork lardiness in the soup too, which is common up in Sapporo where it's so cold. That nice layer of pork lard keeps the soup hot. So it's not exactly light, but with that beautiful miso flavor, it's also carefully crafted, carefully prepared, you could say. There's a certain elegance to it. Let's enjoy it with the noodles. Noodles, fairly thick. This is piping hot. Gotta be careful with the temperature of miso ramen. Those noodles are so springy. And for toppings, we've got both minced pork and a slice of chashu pork. The minced pork is seeping in the soup right now giving it a meatier flavor. Those minced pork pieces are nicely seasoned. Here is the actual slice of pork. Mm. All the pork slices have been good today. To round out the toppings, now we've got bamboo shoots for some crunch, along with, of course, what else? Negi, spring onions. Mm. And besides that beautiful miso flavor, you've also got a strong undercurrent of ginger. A ginger that's just so bright in flavor. At the actual ramen restaurant at Saimi, the ginger is placed delicately on top there, so you can kind of mix it in the soup as you like. Here, it's incorporated into the soup. If you're into ginger, this is a delicious ginger miso ramen, let's call it. And ginger, it just makes you feel alive, or at least me feel alive after five bowls. I'm like, oh, thank you, ginger. Help open my eyes again. I've had this one many times before, so I knew what to expect, but still, it's so good every single time. All right, I'm basically gonna tap out here. I hope all of you enjoyed this video, sampling five different instant ramen, all from famous ramen restaurants, the cream of the crop in the ramen world, and in the instant ramen world. I myself greatly enjoyed today, especially because there were some ones I've never tried before. And they all set the instant ramen bar even higher. If you'd again like to get this exact pack 
order from Instant Ramen Japan with the coupon code that you see on screen. Details in the description below. Thanks so much for joining. I hope to see you in the next ramen video, whether it's ramen or instant ramen. Probably gonna be one of those two. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. I'm a call, Frank. Good morning. Good God, how much coffee is in there? <laughs> like a gallon of coffee. It looks big, but it's not that big. It's actually, no, it is a little bit big. This is the, it's, it's like the pretty size wide. of your head. <laughs> yeah, it does look, I know, there you go. There you go. It's, it's, yeah, it's still the size of your head. Yeah, well, I need it. <laughs> well, I'll probably be having one at 1.2. You know, we both uh, are not in Japan right now and we can share their premium Wait, ramen Japan. on camera. We're both not in Japan right now. You're not in Japan? You aren't. We're both not in Japan? No impurities, yeah. Coming from a coffee addict too, especially when it's uh, just black coffee, but- Yeah, well, we've makes got perfect sense. Yep, yep. What'd you say to me? No, <laughs> you heard what I said to you, Frank. Question, like, do you think boxing wise you can keep up with me now? You've been practicing a lot. Me, and then like you, like, or I don't, I wanna like, I don't know, how do you reach for the sky? Do you think you could, do you think you could keep up at all? I think when you come visit in December, we'll have to find out, big boy. I think so, I think so. Do you remember, I was thinking about this randomly the other day, do you remember when I accidentally dropped you with a liver shot when we were in Kaminoge? No. You were holding You were holding pads for me. You weren't. We weren't even sparring. And I, I was seeing how much distance I could cover on one of my strikes and it accidentally, the strike went down and hit your liver by accident. We were drilling some, some shot, I forget, and I accidentally slipped and messed up and hit your liver in the process. And you curled down in a ball because it was so painful. And I think that was your first liver, proper liver shot experience. Yeah, I, I guess that area, like, because I don't have a liver anymore. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but I... Yeah, still felt the pain. I don't remember that. <laughs> what, 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 really? What were, what were the sounds I was making? Was I like... Ugh. <laughs> Very much so. You were. It was in. It was in our Kaminoge room, and you were like literally in the fetal position, like. <laughs> like Sounds bad. about right. And I felt so bad. I really didn't do it on purpose. I. I got gotcha. you. When I eat too much ramen and I'm in pain, I do the same fetal position. <laughs> it's a comforting thing for me. I'm. <laughs> Maybe after the after the five bowls today might be. The I same think. Um, <laughs>